good morning all of you today i am teaching you ninth standard uh, the ninth standard history lesson second lesson is india events after 1960 so uh, we in this chapter events the different type of the events but uh, after 1960 we have never seen about before that so uh, after independence uh, in 1947 we got the independence uh, india accepted the constitutional framework in 1950 so after india uh, that got the independence in 1947 uh, in 1950 that uh, accepted the constitutional framework and become a sovereign dem democratic nation everyone knowing very well what is mean by the sovereign sovereign means free from other country so uh, uh, 1947 that india got the independence and 1950 india accepted our constitutional framework so in that constitutional giving the priority of the sovereign uh, democratic nation india is a sovereign democratic nation the indian society is a multicultural and people of various languages religions ethnicities and caste live together it means in india there are a lot of diversities that related with the language related with the culture related with the food so india uh, have a lot of diversity so it's it means that the multicultural so india is a multicultural in india indian society it is a multicultural society so during the initial period after the independence india needed to solve the different issues of economies when india got the independence in 1947 that india faced a lot of problem after that uh, because uh, the britishers were uh, uh, britishers went away from india and after that uh, uh, that our indian government rule uh, rule over on india so india faced a lot of economic problem a lot of different type of not only the economic problem but related with the social economic financial so different type of the problem face that the india india needed to solve a different issue of economic political and social development the establishment of the planning commission so the different type of the issue the different type of the problem so india situated the planning commission the establishment of the planning commission and emphasizes on industrialization so india decided to uh, establish the planning commission and emphasizes emphasizes it is mean the special importance that giving the industry so that giving the priority of the uh, industrialization so uh, in industrialization development was means to achieve economic development so giving the priority to the industrialization and through this uh, uh, planning commission and giving the priority to Uh, industrial development so that it means to achieve our economic development it means that the financially support financially good from indian uh, indian point of view and to eliminate poverty of india so through this planning commission that giving the priority of industrial uh, industrialization so eliminate eliminate it means uh, eliminate it means that the end the poverty of india because after that got the independence there were a lot of problems so the main problem is the poverty so through this planning commission giving the priority of industrialization Uh, through the uh, uh, priority of the ind industrialization that eliminated the poverty of india successful conduct of election and faith in democratic tradition tradition, tradition made in made uh, made it possible for us to achieve a political stability that giving the priority of that the industrialization eliminate the poverty that uh, successful conduct of the election so after that india got the independence that election is a re really very important so that other people that faith believe in a democratic because we accepted the uh, democratic nation sovereign nation so it is uh, really necessary that the all people faith on the democratic tradition made it possible for us to political stability it is very necessary political stability in india at the same time several social reforms the same thing there uh, uh, after uh, we got the independence so there were there were a lot of changes in uh, after we got a, got the independence 
so different type of the policies uh, that implemented by the government different type of the programs for the weaker section so because we made the uh, constitution in nine uh, constitutional framework we accepted in 1950 so in that constitution that uh, uh, that uh, more giving the priority for the weaker section because everyone knowing very well that weaker section it means that low ranking people it's very far away from that uh, uh, very far away from that such a type of the development that happened in india so through the constitution giving the priority Uh, giving the priority of the uh, weaker section so different type of programs included uh, in uh, different types of the program and uh, trying to that the social development by the uh, government so after that the 1960 see the 1960 okay so we study about the 1960 in the decade so decade it mean the period of the 10 years decade means the period of the 10 years uh, several events occurred which had a, which had a huge impact on the political situation in india the region of goa diu and daman were freed from a portuguese rule uh, uh, before that uh, we got the independence before that there were a lot of foreign countries came in india and Uh, rule over uh, rule over india so after uh, some places like the region of the goa and uh, goa diu and daman under control of the portuguese uh, por portuguese rule so after that uh, we got the independence uh, these uh, these are free from that the portuguese rule and became a parts of indian federation everyone knowing about that the federation federation it is a Uh, the goa diu daman it's a part of the federation so the tension between so uh, it the tension between that the in 1960 the period of the 1960 that creating the tension between the india and china on the northern border on the northern border which had been rising the since 1950 the problem between the india and china the that is the border line so in 1960 period that there, there is uh, there was the problem that the indian Ch india and china that problem between that related the northern border line so uh, since 1950 this uh, this period of that uh, war is uh, this period of since 1950 culminated in the War, uh, war of 1962 so this problem not uh, uh, arising at a time this problem that uh, started from the 1950 this problem that uh, related with the border border line that the india and the china so this problem arises not suddenly that is since 1950 and culminated and that culminated it means that turn into that reach culminated it mean reach in climax climax in the war of 1962 so between two countries so war happened india and the china in 1962 this war was fought in the region of the macmohan line this war only happened because of that the northern border line this is the macmohan line after india became independent so after that uh, india became uh, independent so the first prime minister of pandit jawaharlal nehru he was the first prime minister of india and he was the first prime minister of india not only the prime minister but he was architect of indian foreign policy so different of different type of the foreign policy that different type of the uh, policies that in that uh, uh, in in In, uh, through this foreign policy the different type activity done by the uh, through the foreign policy his contribution to the social and economic development of india is a significant pandit jawaharlal nehru was the first prime minister and through this foreign policy he was trying to a uh, lot of changes a uh, uh, lot of changes in india like a social and economic development uh, he was trying to there uh, he was trying to wo chahte the ki bahut sare changes ho it's not only that related with the uh, uh, industrialization or eliminated the poverty but also giving the priority of the social and the economic so it is really very significant jawaharlal nehru at uh, he was trying but at that time that jawaharlal nehru was nehru passed away in 1964 Lal Bahadur Shastri succeeded him so after that Lal Bahadur uh, uh, sorry after that the 
पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू पास अवे दैट हैंडल द लाल बहादुर शास्त्री वॉज द सेकेंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया एंड बिकेम द नेक एंड ड्यूरिंग हिज टेन्यूचर ड्यूरिंग हिज टेन्यूचर इट मीन्स दैट द पीरियड ऑफ द लाल बहादुर शास्त्री ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान वेन टू वॉर ओवर द काश्मीर इश्यू इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव वेन दैट लाल बहादुर शास्त्री वॉज बिकम अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट टाइम दैट इशू दैट द इंडिया एंड द पाकिस्तान वॉर सो दैट द प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड विद दैट द काश्मीर इशू इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी फाइव सो द सोवियत यूनियन ट्राई टू सॉर्ट आउट पाकिस्तान सो द सोवियत यूनियन ट्राई टू मेडिटेट बिटवीन द टू टू ट्रू सॉरी टू कंट्रीज ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू दैट सॉर्ट आउट द प्रॉब्लम जो भी प्रॉब्लम था वो दो कंट्रीज में ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू सॉर्ट आउट द प्रॉब्लम लाल बहादुर शास्त्री गेव द स्लोगन ही वॉज द मेन स्लोगन एज द जय जवान एंड जय जय किसान वॉट इज मीन बाय द जय जवान इट्स गिविंग द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ द इंडियन आर्मी एंड जय किसान इट मीन्स दैट आर इंडियन दैट दैट द मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडिया दैट रिलेटेड विद द एग्रीकल्चर सो थ्रू दिस एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड दैट गिविंग द प्रायोरिटी टू द किसान इट मीन्स द फार्मर सो दैट द जय जवान एंड द स्लोगन ऑफ स्लोगन ऑफ गिवन बाय द लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जय जवान एंड जय किसान विथ विच विथ विच ही हाईलाइटेड the importance of indian soldier and indian farmers lal bahadur shastri breathed his last at tashkent in 1966 so at last uh, he was trying to do to do something uh, for that the india and pakistan but at last in tashkent that related with the issue sort out the problem with the kashmir so at that time uh, he was reached in tashkent but before sign the agreement that suddenly he passed away in 1966 after that the tenure of the indira gandhi first one is first prime minister of the pandit jawala nehru that he was doing a lot of for our uh, country uh, that the trying to he was the uh, architect of, uh, of the foreign policy then the lal bahadur shastri he was also trying to sort out the problem related between the kashmir and india issue काश्मीर इशू देन थर्ड वन इज द टेन्यूचर ऑफ द टेन्यूचर द ऑफ इंदिरा गांधी इंदिरा गांधी बिकेम द फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही वॉज द फर्स्ट लेडी प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स ड्यूरिंग हर टेन्यूचर मतलब ड्यूरिंग हिज पीरियड ड्यूरिंग हिज पीरियड पाकिस्तान ऑपरेसिव पॉलिसीज इन ईस्ट पाकिस्तान इन दैट द पीरियड ऑफ द इंदिरा गांधी that the pakistan doing a lot of activity that related with the oppressive it is really very hard activity done by the pakistan so related is pakistan so it's pakistan pakistan itna uh, oppressive activity kar raha tha it's really difficult to understand ki uh, resulted in a big movement there uh, ki bahut badi big movement that happened in uh, uh, the period of the indira gandhi this movement was led by so jo east pakistani se related movement chal rahi thi this movement led by the sheik mujibur rahman and his organization so this activity uh, that this movement that the particular organization that uh, uh, established by the uh, sheik mujibur rahman and his organization doing the that the activity related by the east pakistani so these crises in east pakistan affected india as well because millions of refugee came to in india this activity done by the डन बाय द मुजबर रहमान सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल ऑफ द इट मीन द ईस्ट पाकिस्तानी दैट केम इन इंडिया एज अ रिफ्यूजी रिफ्यूजी मीन्स दैट कमिंग फ्रॉम द अनादर कंट्री एंड स्टेइंग स्टेइंग इन आर कंट्री सो द लॉट ऑफ रिफ्यूजी केम टू इंडिया बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट द शेख मुजबिर रहमान एंड हीज ऑर्गनाइजेशन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द पीरियड ऑफ द नाइनटीन सिक्सटी दैट रिलेटेड विद द पंडित जवाहरलाल Nehru uh, and uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri and after that the Indira Gandhi so thank you everyone